Today we're going to make a box that feels ambivalent about its duties. I had the nice man at Home Depot cut down a sheet of 3 quarter inch plywood into 16 inch strips. I then used my circular saw, a speed square, and some clamps to cut the sides, the top, the bottom, and two pieces to inset in the top and bottom. I glued the inset pieces to the bottom of the box and used two scrap pieces of plywood as spacers on the sides. I then pre-drilled and screwed the two pieces together. I repeated the process for the top of the box. I used a tube cutter to cut my copper pipe down to size. One of the reasons why I use copper pipe so often is it looks good and it's incredibly easy to work with. Also, you know, any chance I can get to use my favorite tube cutter. After I cut all the pieces, I used a scotch Bright pad to get off all the markings that are on the pipe and to shine it up a bit. To drill the holes for the pipes, I measured in a couple inches from each side and exactly in the middle of the piece of plywood. I used a Forstner bit with my cordless drill and I made sure that there was a piece of plywood underneath so that I didn't drill all the way into my bench top. I then measured half the distance between the center and the top and a third of the way in from each side to drill the larger holes for the larger pipe. I put a layer of wood glue on the insets of the top and the bottom for assembly. Then it was just a matter of moving the clamps around while I pre-drilled and screwed all the pieces together. I wanted all the pieces of the box to fit together as tightly as possible, which is why I spent so much time setting and resetting the placement of the clamps. I used my power sander to smooth all the edges and even them up a bit. I also hand sanded just to break the edges so they weren't quite so sharp. And I hand sanded the pipe holes. I then added the pipes with end caps for the two larger pieces on top and a little bit of Gorilla Glue to keep the bottom pieces all tightly squished together. Lastly, I used pipe straps to attach a shelf to the center of the box. If you want to know what I'm doing on a semi-regular basis, follow me on Instagram, where you can see projects like this one that started out as a step stool and ended up as whatever it is now. Just wanted to take a quick minute to let you know that I'm going to be in the UK in May. Yes, that rhymes, but whatever. Um, I'm going to the Makers Central event in Birmingham. Birmingham? Birmingham. Anyways, the NEC in Birmingham in the UK, May 5th and 6th, 2018. I know that I have 7% of my YouTube following that is from the UK, so... I expect to see 900 people there who know my name. And in case you're wondering, 
I have a pretty awesome t-shirt. After that awesome display, how can you not like, comment, and subscribe to my channel? I mean, come on.